Hello! If you're new to my channel, I'm gonna leave the link down below on the body type series, on the body types test video, where I describe all those different body types. Alright, let's go! To type the celebrities can be pretty tricky, and there are several reasons for that. Many of them have done some surgery to their body or to the face. It does add some confusion to the nature, kind of mishmash of the lines. Second of all, the pictures are made from different angles, so it doesn't show us the right proportions necessarily. Number three is makeup and clothes. They also change a lot, especially in the photo shoots. With a special lighting, it really changes the shapes. It creates a lot of illusions. Number four, there is such thing as Photoshop. They use Photoshop for magazine covers, for their photo shoots again, so they correct the shapes from time to time. So the first body type we're going to talk about is dramatic. Now these ladies seem quite different if we look at them, but they do have something in common. We're going to pay some more attention on that, like what do they have in common? Look at their straight and long vertical line. First of all their body type is straight and angular, their arms and legs are long, normally they're narrow in width. They can't overweight, but it doesn't affect their dramatic skeleton, their narrower bones. Their bone structure is angular with sharp edges. They usually have square shoulders and they can be narrow. They can be moderate to tall, usually like 5 feet 5 inches and over. And if they're less, then it's not a dramatic, it's something different. Face features are normally whether long and straight or pretty sharp. They may tend to long or sleek musculature. They won't be very wide. They have very regal appearance. Even if you don't know their height, you probably guess that they're pretty tall. If they overweight, they can get heavy around the hip area, but not above. Not this much on the upper torso. 99% of all the celebrities that I'm gonna show you today are from the official celebrities body types list that David Kibbe, the stylist that created all that technology, made himself. And as a contrast to that dryness, we have soft dramatic. And soft dramatic women, they also have that vertical elongated line, but they have some softness added to that, and it's their curves. Uh, so physically their bone structure is large and angular. Just pay attention on that. Uh, but it is softened with a fleshy body type and full facial features. They look very bold and charismatic, but at the same time very sensual. The drama in them is definitely dominant. The softness is secondary. They're like dramatics, moderate to tall, usually 5 feet 5 inches and over. They also can be underweight and overweight, but even if they are underweight, they will look fleshy still. Particularly through the bust and hips area. Normally their legs and arms are also long and they can become very fleshy without exercises. Their bone structure is large and angular and facial bones are prominent or sharp. They can have really narrow bone structure, uh, particularly in the shoulders, in hands and feet, wrists or ankles, which makes them look slightly more delicate. However, it's hard to call their bones delicate because they are long. And if these ladies are overweight, they normally overweight in the bust area, hips area, waist area, basically at the fleshiest parts of the body. Those soft dramatics that really feel what body type they have, they normally look like queens, really. Very sensual, very sexy. On these two pictures, Morena Bakrin doesn't wear the clothes with soft dramatic lines, so you can see that it looks slightly separate from her. Romantics. Complete opposite. Small rounded, short legs, short arms, soft flesh. Her height is normally moderate to petite, usually 5 feet 5 inches and under. And she's very soft and voluptuous. She has fleshy arms and legs normally. She's curvy. She consists of very rounded lines. She can also be overweight or underweight. If she overweights, the whole body gets more rounded, like the face gets very full. Her facial features are pretty full and sensual. Uh, her bone structure is pretty delicate and smallish, but usually to the wide side. If it's not wide, then it's a slightly different body type. We're gonna talk later about this. Her shoulders are normally rounded or sloped, small hands and feet, maybe slightly wide. 
So think about short and wider bones, however pretty delicate at the same time. Sometimes these women might feel like their bones are pretty wide, therefore large. But this is actually not true because as far as it's pretty short, it does look delicate and it is delicate. Especially because it has some soft flesh around it. Even in looking on those pictures, we can't predict that these ladies are pretty small, right? So theatrical romantic. It's like romantic, but with some sharpness in bones and in features. It's kind of narrower hourglass. They're still short. Their height is normally moderate to petite, usually 5 feet 5 inches and under. Their body type is also soft. It has some flesh, although it's pretty trim and smallish. Soft and fleshy arms and legs normally, especially if they overweight. If they overweight, their upper arms, their thighs and their face will become very fleshy. Their bone structure is small and delicate. They have slightly sharp edges like shoulders, jawline or cheekbones or nose, small hands and feet. Facial bones are small and delicate and slightly sharp. They're very feminine, definitely very glamorous girls. And in the end there's a picture of David Kibbe himself, the stylist who invented all that technology in the 80s, and his wife, and they're both theatrical romantics. Now let's go to classics. Now classic it's a mixture of the opposites, which is mixed so well, so we can't say if that's sharp or rounded. It's kind of in the middle. Everything is very moderate and average and very symmetrical. It's pretty rare type because who can say that it's like 50-50, you know? They tend to be rather softer or sharper. However, let's see some examples of the stars that David Kibbe called classics. They look very sophisticated, aristocratic. Their height is very moderate, usually between 5 feet 4 inches and 5 feet 7 inches. Their facial features are normally evenly spaced. Normally, if they overweight, the body remains symmetrical. Okay, soft classic classic but with some softness so her height can be moderate up to five feet six inches they normally look very symmetrical however they have some roundness in their features but this roundness is not enough to call them romantic or theatrical romantic because those girls are much shorter her arms and legs are pretty much moderate you see so that's a big difference she can be just slightly softer than the classic and slightly delicate maybe small and slightly wide but with soft edges not square but they're still evenly proportioned i try to find some realistic pictures but for some celebrities it's very hard some of them didn't have any pictures on the beach that would show their curves their body their flesh so i try to find something for you in the dresses Now, dramatic classic is classic with some dramatic undercurrent. So their height can be moderate, up to 5 feet 7 inches. And their bone structure is symmetrical but with slightly angular edges. So this time we have straight and slightly wide bones, slightly squarish. And face also can be slightly sharp, slightly angular or squarish. However, they are very symmetrical. Their face features are still very evenly spaced. They even can be slightly muscular. Look a bit heavier than classics. Legs and arms can be slightly longer. They usually gain weight in hips and thighs area. They can get pear-shaped. I will leave that list under the video. So if you're interested in certain body type, you could maybe just Google some of their pictures and just see what they wear and how they look. Let's go to natural family. Naturals. You can see right away that they are slightly wider. They have slightly angular bone structure and asymmetrical features with blunt edges. They're not sharp anymore, but they still are not rounded. They can be slightly muscular. Normally they are moderate to slightly tall, up to 5 feet 8 inches. And their bone structure is slightly straight, slightly angular with blunt edges, as opposed to sharp. If they're overweight, the body tends to remain straight. Let's go to soft naturals. They look slightly more feminine. They are moderate to slightly small, 
up to 5 feet 7 inches. Their bone structure also slightly angular, slightly square or broad shoulders, slightly blunt, but arms and legs can be slightly short. This is their softness. And the body type is normally slightly soft and tends towards fleshiness. They can also be underweight and overweight. If they overweight, body tends to become extremely soft and fleshy. And the waist gets thicker. The upper arms and thighs and hips tend to collect excess weight. They can look very feminine, but at the same time they look slightly heavier than, for example, soft classics or romantics. And they can be also straighter in figure. Not always, though. Some, some of them have hips. And many women nowadays are making their booties bigger with surgery, so that can also sometimes confuse us. Some of their facial features can be wider. For example, bigger mouth or huge eyes or soft cheeks or nose tends to be small and wide. And by the way, please let me know in the comments, what are you interested in concerning body types? Maybe outfit, clothes, accessories, maybe something specific. I will make a separate video for you. Let's go back to tall women. Now, flamboyant natural. Most of the supermodels are flamboyant naturals. They are tall. Their height is normally moderate to very tall usually 5 feet 5 inches and over. And their bone structure is large and angular, with blunt edges, broad and square bones, wide shoulders, long arms and legs. So you can notice that if a dramatic is pretty narrow vertical line, so in flamboyant natural case, this is a wider vertical line, as you can see. In case of flamboyant natural, it's wide and broad and elongated at the same time. Body type is normally straight and angular. Even if they have hips and waist, there is still some tendency to masculine and blunt edges, as opposed to sharp. Facial features are normally blunt and broad, like their facial features can vary a lot, but um, as a base they have pretty angular bones. And if they are overweight, the body tends to become pretty square and stocky. The extreme excess weight will collect primarily from the waist down. Now let's go to gamines. Gamine, small, straight and sharp, pretty dry. Normally they are 5 feet 5 inches and under and they can be very petite. Their bone structure is angular and sharp and narrow, sometimes described as delicate. Delicately sharp facial features like nose, jaw, cheekbones can be sharp. Small and narrow, that's how we can describe that body type. And arms and legs can be long at the same time. Because see, they are a combination of opposites. They can have very romantic features, such as shortness, large eyes, or something like this. At the same time, they can have some dramatic features, like narrowness, straightness. Their body type is normally lithe and lean, tends towards musculature, can be slightly flat. Their lips are normally narrow, and their cheeks are normally also pretty taut. If they overweight too much, the body tends to square or stocky appearance, as opposed to curves. Soft gamine is also a combination of opposites, but with some extra softness in them. They are not like romantics, because romantic is a woman, she looks like a woman, and a soft gamine, she does look like a, like a girl, slightly like a teenager, because her bone structure is still pretty angular. However, she has some curves, she has some flesh. They are also very small, under 5 feet 5 inches, and usually very petite. And uh, their bone structure is delicate and small, but at the same time slightly broad and angular, and angular edges, particularly through the shoulders. Shoulders can be square. They can have delicately broad facial contours, like nose or cheekbones or jawline. They can have pretty sharp chin, sharp nose, but at the same time very full cheeks. So this is kind of combination of opposites in them. This is what makes them look slightly angular and not as feminine as romantic. And their body type is soft, curvy, tends towards fleshiness. Their arms and legs tend to be soft and fleshy, particularly through the hip and thighs areas. Very often they have doll-like features. And if they overweight, body tends to be very rounded. Mainly the weight collects in the bust and hips area. And arms and thighs can be very soft. And face becomes very round, very soft. Last but not least, flamboyant gamine. Very 
confusing type, but I trained my eyes so well so I can see them right away. It's kind of a combination of everything. However, they're pretty smallish, they look pretty small and angular and slightly squarish. And they can be slightly muscular at the same time. They can be slightly higher than soft gamines or gamines, but it's still 5 feet 6 inches and under. And their bone structure is broadly angular. Square shoulders, slightly wide bones, they can have large hands and feet, slightly sharp or broad facial contours, and their arms and legs may be long in proportion to height. Facial contours tend to be broad nose or cheekbones or jawline. It can be very defined musculature, unless they overweight. If they overweight, they become slightly stocky and squarish, and it collects from the waist down. And arms and legs tend to become pretty thick, and their face can become very puffy and flashy. However, they still remain being flamboyant gamins because they have a very certain bone structure that gives them that appearance. They look lean and strong. Mostly they have straight lines, unless overweight. They normally look, look younger and they are smaller. Alright, that's it. So in my next video, we're gonna compare some of these celebrities. We're gonna see them in the same picture and we're gonna discuss what is the difference between them. And see you soon. Goodbye.